against UCLA. You managed to take care of business. You built a huge lead here today. USC came back and made a run at you, but the Cougs had the answer again. Yeah, I thought uh, our guys did a nice job, and that's exactly what we talked about in the locker room as far as dealing with uh, USC coming out the second half, making a good run, making shots, pushing the ball up and down in transition. And uh, we, we did not play very well that first six, eight minutes of the second half. But we, we stayed together and, and uh, dealt with the situation. And pretty soon we started making baskets and we were in good shape. Talking to Brock Modem just a moment ago about that. And uh, he said, hey, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, we probably would have lost this game. But, but guys have just managed to, to keep battling and, and found a way to, to hold off and get the win in this one. He thinks that's a, the way this team has matured. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's the right word. I think these guys have matured, and we are not playing perfect basketball, but uh, this is another example of a, a team makes a run, and a month ago, we, we could have folded. But uh, right now, we're doing a nice job of just staying together and executing and running stuff and continuing to get good shots. I guess we could write a script for Senior Day. It's a, a script that would look pretty good for Brock Mode. 31 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double, and, and no turnovers in 38 minutes and, and getting a win on Senior Day. Yeah, Brock did a great job. And, and I also think Mike did, you know, considering himself being out for a number of weeks he was out and being able to go out there, play uh, 27 minutes, have six assists, only one turnover. He didn't shoot it well. But other than shooting the ball well, I thought he did a good job. Yeah, it's kind of be to, to be expected, I would think, being rusty after the layoff. Did he do okay after the game as far as he's set? Yeah, I think he's, I think he's fine. Good. Uh, just momentum now heading into this Pac-12 tournament. Uh, I know coaches always say, and you've said, you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year, and I think you can argue that, that that's the case right now. Right. We want to play our best basketball at the end of the year, and we want to be healthy. And with the exception of uh, Devante, we are relatively healthy. I think Mike Ladd is not at 100%, but he's getting closer. You talked about the, the run that USC made, 18-4, to four, to start the second half, to pull within five. Royce Woolridge didn't have a, a great first half and spent a little extra time on the bench, but he came in and really, I think, helped ignite this team, hit some big threes. He did. He hit some big threes, made free throws. Uh, I don't think he had a turnover tonight. He, he had a good game. He's, uh, he's playing good basketball right now. Get to see the Huskies again Wednesday night, it looks like. That's what I hear. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk more about that on Wednesday. Congratulations on the win, and we'll see you in Las Vegas. All right. See you. Kevin, what, is, uh, what does Mike do for Royce, being able to be back out there, and so Royce doesn't have to worry about bringing it up all the time? He's, uh, he's exactly that. He's a guy that can replace Royce at times and, and handle a point, run a set, run the show, and, and we don't need to worry about what's going to happen. We know Mike knows the system, and it gives Royce a little bit of a break. I'm just looking at the stats here. This is probably the most fundamentally sound game I've ever seen you guys have. 17, 17 of 18 free throw shooting, you have rebounded them, 45 to 34, 18 to 5 assist to turnover ratio. How pleased were you with just the fundamentals of tonight? The, the, those areas that you just mentioned were good. We didn't shoot the ball extremely well, but uh, but the areas that you just mentioned, we were very good at. And what did you think about the reception when uh, with 150 left when Modem and Ladd uh, went out the standing ovation? Oh, it was nice for them to to be shown how much people appreciate them here in the Palouse. And I just wish the students would have been here. <laughs> it would have been nice for the students to see those guys play their last game and. Uh, enjoy tonight and the other day against UCLA. It was two great games for the Cougs, but we didn't have a whole lot of students around, unfortunately, because of because of uh, spring break. Sure. Is, is there a single thing you can put your finger on that was different? These last two games, you guys had leads, the other team made a run, they responded positively to it. That it's been different than before in those situations this year. I think just the maturity of our guys and just staying composed in uh, in tough situations. We've had a lot of practice at it. And uh, I think our guys right now are starting to understand teams are going to make runs. We just need to relax and continue to let the game come to us, and uh, it, it'll work out. Ken, what is, you know, I, I know Bud, Bud sort of touched on it a little bit, but what is two wins like this? And it's not like these were like nail-biting wins. I mean, these teams came in here, and you guys kind of 
blew the doors off them for the most part. You know, what did two wins like this do for the mindset of your club? Considering where we were uh, with a record of 2-14 and 14 and a tough loss at Washington, to be able to come back and play two good teams in UCLA and USC, I think it really helps our confidence. And it's the right time of year to get some confidence. If it wasn't this weekend, it wasn't going to happen. So it was our last chance to gain confidence, play good ball, before going into that conference tournament. And, and when did you know that, uh, that Mike was going to be ready to go today? I thought probably about Wednesday. I, you know, we felt like he wasn't quite ready to play that game. But we felt pretty confident that he, he would play today. But we wanted to wait till Thursday and watch him. And he played some three-on-three -three Thursday afternoon after practice with the, some of the other guys. And it looked pretty good. So at that, when I walked out of here Thursday evening, I felt like he's ready to go. And Devontae's surgery went okay? Yeah, as far as I know, uh, everything went well. Any, any particular feeling on playing Washington again? Well, I think it's great. You know, uh, obviously, we just played them. So, and we're very familiar with them. They're familiar with us. But it's always, uh, it's always been a good game. And so I'm sure it'll be another battle.